Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to scrape Facebook post data using our API. Whether you're a digital marketer, social media analyst, or just wanna gather insights from public Facebook posts, this tool is going to make that process super simple. Facebook is one of the largest social networks in the world, and now you can easily extract detailed post data with just a few clicks. To get started, head over to taskagi.net and log into your account, or sign up if you're new. Once logged in, locate the Facebook scraper in our list of tools. With this tool, you'll be able to scrape data from public Facebook posts such as content, reactions, shares, and more. Before using the scraper, you'll need to generate an API key from your Task AGI dashboard. Don't forget to save that key somewhere safe because you only see it once. If you lose it, you'll have to generate a new one, but it's always easier to keep track of it right from the start. Now that you have your API key, let's dive into using this scraper. I'll show you how to use it with Postman, but you can use any API testing tool you're familiar with. First, set up a new post request and use the Facebook scraper endpoint from Task AGI. I'll drop the link in the description for easy access. In the header section, add content type application JSON and authorization bearer followed by your API key. Now in the body of the request, input the Facebook post URL that you wanna scrape. For example, let's say we want to scrape a post from the Chicago Bulls official page. You just drop that Facebook URL into the body, hit send, and the scraper will pull back all the data you need within seconds. Let's break down what data you'll receive from the Facebook scraper. First, you'll get key post information such as the post's content and the date it was posted. For example, if you're scraping a post announcing the signing of a player like Adama Sanogo, you'll retrieve the post text, we have signed Adama Sanogo to a two-way contract, along with the exact time and date it was posted. You'll also get user details like the profile URL and username of the account that posted it. For instance, the scraper will show you that the post came from the Chicago Bulls official Facebook page along with the page's profile link and handle. Another powerful feature of this scraper is that it pulls all post engagement data, which includes the number of likes, shares, and comments. You'll even get a breakdown of reaction types, such as how many people reacted with emotions. For example, this Chicago Bulls post received over a thousand likes, 159 loves, and even 152 laugh reactions. The scraper gives you a full view of how users are interacting with the post. If the post contains images or attachments, the scraper will pull those too. You'll get a link to the post image, such as a photo of Adama Sanogo in his Bulls jersey. This is great if you're looking to collect media assets or analyze visuals used in posts. And of course, the scraper pulls detailed information about the page itself. You'll retrieve the number of page likes and followers. In this case, you'd find out that the Chicago Bulls page has 16 million followers. If the page is verified, like this one, you'll get that information as well. Our Facebook Scraper API is also available on Rapid API if that's your preferred platform. You can easily find it by searching for Facebook Scraper and selecting the one we've created. For quick access, I've provided the link in the description as well. Once you've located it, just subscribe to the free plan, which provides you with some credits for testing at no cost. Head over to the Rapid API Playground and hit the test endpoint button, see it in action. The parameters are already set, but you can modify them to suit your needs. You'll find detailed API documentation in the overview section, and the left side menu includes different endpoints for various tasks. Rapid API also offers helpful code snippets in multiple programming languages, making integration into your application seamless and straightforward. Before I wrap up, I wanna remind you that we also offer custom scraping solutions. If you have specific data needs or larger scale projects, we can help build a solution that fits perfectly with what you're trying to achieve. Got any questions? Drop them in the comments below. And if you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. Happy scraping.